horse stall in the auxiliary gate, which gives him a little room to his inside. Uh, horses sometimes kind of break awkwardly, slam into each other. That was the reason they took 50. Right, there have been some winners go, from that auxiliary gate in uh, right, past thanks. derbies the last few years especially. And there goes Wilco. He's been not very much discussed last year's Breeders' Cup Juvenile winner. A very small colt as opposed to Bellamy Road, who's a very tall fellow and needs to have clear running room because it's not easy for a big horse like that to get stopped. There's Bandini, a little reluctant to go into the starting gate. He was the only one, really, who came out of the paddock a little wet and a little agitated. And, of course, his sire is Fuchaisi Pegasus, which makes him, you know, susceptible to being a little hot-tempered there. And he's In showing fact, a... One of the problems they had with him earlier was a little overly aggressive. He tried to bite other horses. Exactly. The temperament has always been an issue with him, but Todd Fletcher thinks he's got a good one. He has purposely followed very carefully the path that Neil Drysdale took with Fuchaisi Pegasus himself. He's hoping for it to pay off today. And there goes Bellamy Road. Favorite goes in. Nick Zito has the favorite and four others as Don't Get Mad enters the starting gate. His owner put up 200,000. They continue to load. And now for the call of the 131st Kentucky Derby. Let's go to Tom Durkin. The final horses taking their place in the starting gate. There is Going Wild with his white blinkers. And uh, he's got some early speed. He might be uh, somewhere in the mix early. And on the far outside, Buzzards Bay. Ready for the start of the 100. And 31st Kentucky Derby. 23 year olds in line. Spanish chestnut breaking from post 13. And they're off in the Kentucky Derby. And Bandini and Spanish chestnut broke, both broke quickly. Bellamy Road is right there with them. And on the far outside, it's going wild. So a stampede under us for the first time. And as expected, it is. Spanish chestnut in front. Going wild right there on the outside. Bellamy Road not far behind in third. Faurelli is fourth. High five fifth between horses. Closing argument sixth on the outside. High limit is seventh at the rail. And Bandini is running in eighth position. Sun Pink ninth toward the inside. Buzzards Bay is tenth. A fleet Alex in tight quarters running 11. Three lengths back. Point Silver is now 12th toward the inside. Noble Causeway is 13th. Andromeda's Hero is now 14th. Wilco 15th. Greeley's Galaxy 16th. Giacomo 17th in between horses. Sorted out as 18th. And then Don't Get Man is 19th. And Greater Good is the last of 20. 45 and 1 fifth seconds among the fastest opening half miles ever in the Kentucky Derby. In the role of the pacemaker, it is Spanish Chestnut. Flower Alley second on the inside. Javier Castellano is now asking Bellamy Road at the half mile pole. Going wild in between horses, so too high fly. And Buzzards Bay making a move on the outside, closing argument. A fleet Alex trying to thread his way through between horses. He will go inside as they round the far turn. Three furlongs to go here. They ran three quarters in a bruising 109 and two. And here comes Bellamy Road, who's charging up on the outside. High Fly is moving with him. Spanish Chestnut is weakening. A fleet Alex is in behind them. Closing argument is in with the chance there on the outside. Buzzards Bay coming down the middle of the track at the top of the stretch in the Kentucky Derby. High five, Bellamy Road, closing argument on the far outside. Here comes a fleet, Alex, charging through between horses. Giacomo, don't get mad, late charge on the far outside. Coming down to the finish, closing argument, short lead. Giacomo, a fleet, Alex, it's a three-horse photo finish. And on the wire, it's Giacomo, who has won the 131st Kentucky Derby. Close for second, closing argument, and the fleet, Alex, don't get mad, was fourth. The final time was 2 0 oh, 2 and 3. So it is Giacomo, the winner of the Derby, and the second biggest long shot in the 131 year history of this race. Wow, uh, Giacomo, who in the Santa Anita Derby had finished fourth, beaten two links by Buzzards Bay there, ridden by Mike Smith, who was 0 for 11 in the Kentucky Derby, but had been second three times. Mike Smith has been riding with Lafitte Pinkai's saddle. Lafitte, when he retired, had over 9,500 victories. Mike Smith said, Lafitte, let me have it. I want to try to get it to 10,000. Well, never did he dream that he would get the Kentucky Derby using Lafitte Pinkai's saddle. Giacomo, owned by Mr. and Mrs. Jerome Moss, who also bred the colt in Kentucky. He's a three-year-old colt by Holy Bull out of Set Them Free by Stop the Music. Donna? And the superfecta, does that say a million seven hundred twenty-eight thousand? Is that what that says? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> 
Oh, let's take a look at the aerial view now from the MetLife blimp of today's Kentucky Derby. There's, there you find Gi Giacomo there breaking out of Giacomo, the 10 horse, and uh, coming uh, out of the gate. Uh, you can see, as Tom uh, Durkin said, it was a a charge with nobody really going out to take the early lead until Spanish Chestnut finally gets going with going wild there on the outside. Giacomo is the one that wants to come from off the pace. So Mike Smith sitting back there, you heard what he told Donna. He was relishing these fast early fractions, just biding his time, and is going to, in fact, down the back stretch in a moment, come over to the inside and save a little ground. Meanwhile, Spanish Chestnut is doing his job. The third fastest first quarter mile in Derby history, 22 and 1. The second fastest half mile in 45 and 1. And he's got going wild left right on him, and then you see out there three wide in the second flight there that is Bellamy Road and he's clear and he's outside but he's still not as far back as he probably should be with these fast pace but he's not fighting and, and Castellano's letting him run along but Spanish Chestnut is leading him on a merry merry chase here they're now going three quarters of a mile in 109 and this of course sets up perfectly for a come from behind horse like Giacomo as we said earlier, those California horses have been pretty well disparaged all year long, but Buzzards Bay, and when you see coming to the turn, he's going to be moving up here. Actually, there he goes along the inside there with a the big white face coming up inside Spanish Chestnut now and making a big move. And, of course, now they've been three-quarters and 109 and change it, coming up on the mile and 135. Now, Bellamy Mutt Road on the outside there and high fly. The two of them are hooking up, passing Spanish Spanish uh, Chestnut there and there's a fleet Alex trying to get by Spanish Chestnut just in behind there as Spanish Chestnut starting to get weary. Now he changes in the green silks. He's going to go go here now and split between Bellamy Road and closing argument. Really surprising move right here by closing argument. The horse who'd really been out running is his pedigree all along. Now here comes Giacomo in the green in the very middle of your screen. He's coming up outside of of uh, closing argument who's drifting out a little bit takes him out a little and the fleet Alex is all alone down there on the rail but it's all Giacomo what he wanted was this great big long Churchill down stretch and a mile and a quarter official order of finish first to last Giacomo closing argument at fleet Alex don't get mad ran fourth Buzzards Bay Wilco Bellamy Road fading to seventh Andromeda's hero flower alley high fly Greeley's galaxy coin silver Greater good, Noble Causeway never had that closing finish. 